City, Ann Adams speaking. In nearly three decades of reporting at the Saskatoon Star Phoenix, Betty Ann Adam has covered countless thousands of stories, asking people to open up about their lives. Still, when it came time for her own story to be told, she admits it wasn't easy. I felt very vulnerable, but I felt like, what right did I have to say no to it when, when I understood the value of other people telling their stories? As a child, Adam and her two sisters and brother were separated and adopted into different families across North America as part of the 60s scoop. Their story of reuniting as adults is the subject of a new National Film Board production, Birth of a Family. We're all family together here. <laughs> While she had some contact with Rose as a teenager, the full reunion was decades in the making. When it finally occurred, there was no doubt they were related. From the first time I met my sister, she and I were, were both thrilled to be able to see resemblances between us. We could see resemblance in our smiles, you know, especially, and, in, and just sort of in our skin tone and things like that. Adam had sat on the idea of telling her story for some time, but finally decided to proceed after receiving encouragement from Truth and Reconciliation Commissioner Marie Wilson. I don't feel like I'm lucky. I feel like I've been ripped off. The documentary, directed by Tasha Hubbard, was completed earlier this year and received its first screening in Los Angeles. Not at a star-studded gala premiere, but a private screening for those featured. To me, that was really the grand unveiling, was when my siblings got to see the film. And, uh, and so that was wonderful. There wasn't a dry eye in the house. And for me, a big part of the pleasure was watching their faces while they watched themselves. Birth of a Family received a wider, though no less appreciative audience at the recent Hot Docs Festival in Toronto. Adam believes the screenings have helped people become more informed about the 60s scoop, or child removal system, that saw at least 20,000 Indigenous children be removed from their homes. Many people were hearing about this for the first time, others had heard heard of it, but this really helped them to understand it. And I also heard from many people who had been foster children or adoptees. And now the film will make its debut in Adams and Hubbard's home city of Saskatoon at the Broadway Theatre. She hopes the screenings will not only shine a light on the past, but also raise awareness about ongoing issues in the foster care and adoption system. Last night and tonight, there will be thousands of children going to bed without being hugged by their own mothers and fathers. And that is something that can be changed, but it requires the will of the people and the will of the governments to do what's right. In Saskatoon, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.